thing that stands out most to me about my experience with Robert Kennedy is that he had this remarkable capacity for empathy, with, particularly with people who were underprivileged, for whom life was more difficult than it was for him or for uh, uh, many of us. And he was able to do that, I think, instinctively. It wasn't particularly that he was more articulate than other, uh, uh, but he had a capacity both with blacks and whites and with um, working poor and very poor people and families. And he demonstrated that in daily meetings and obviously in the speeches and, and train tours that became a hallmark of, uh, of the campaign. And what I took away from that is particularly in public life, but there's an analog of it in business life as, as well, the capacity to, to empathize with people, to understand their problems and make them believe that you're going to champion their concerns, identify with those concerns. If we look at the great leaders, uh, both uh, in uh, the public sector, elected officials, and in the business world, they have a version of that uh, capacity to relate to people so that their goals are clearly put and become embraced by the people they lead. And uh, I thought that was a, a remarkable attribute that he had. And there were moments that stood out particularly. The comments he made after learning about the Martin Luther King assassination, and he landed on the campaign trail, if I remember correctly, it was in Indianapolis, and, um, and spoke largely w without, without uh, notes. There certainly was no text. There had been conversation on the, on the airplane ab ab about it briefly, but it was essentially just him speaking from, uh, from the heart, and it was extraordinarily uh, moving. I came away from that, I think, uh, believing pretty intensely that the ability to lead in whatever setting you find yourself in depends on having that kind of empathy and the ability to communicate it directly to the people you're dealing with.